solving radical equations algebraically and graphically. Solve algebraically and confirm graphically. So I'm going to solve this equation using algebra and then I'm going to take out my calculator and show you how to use the graphing function of your calculator to solve it also. But first we're going to do some algebra. So I'm going to square both sides of the equation. When I square, the square cancel, cancels out the square root. So I end up with x plus 3 equals x plus 3 times x plus 3. Now some of you at this point might say, hey, let's just divide by x th plus 3 on both sides. Well, if we do that, we're going to miss one of our solutions, okay? So we're going to keep working. x plus 3 equals, now when I FOIL, I get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. I want to make it equal to 0, so I'm going to, well, subtract x. I should have collected like terms there, but it'll be okay. So 3 equals x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 9. See, even when you forget to collect like terms, you still have a chance to do it. So I'm going to do it right now. 3 equals x squared plus 5x plus 9. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. So I get 0 equals x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now some of you like to see it like this. x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. They're the same thing. But now what I need to do is I need to factor it because I need to solve for x. So when I factor this, I get x plus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. So I need to solve for x, so I have x plus 3 equals 0, so x equals negative 3, and x plus 2 equals 0, so x equals negative 2. Now I need to check these to make sure that they really work in this equation. So let's do the x minus equals negative 3 first. So I'm going to write my original equation. The square root of x plus 3 equals x plus 3. Now I'm going to put negative 3 in for my x's. So I have the square root of negative 3 plus 3 equals negative 3 plus 3. So I have the square root of 0. Now I'm hoping that it's going to equal 0. And since it does, I know that x plus x equals, sorry about that, x equals negative 3 is one of my solutions. Now let's try the other one. Okay, let's try x equals negative 2 and see if that's also a solution. So I'm going to write my original equation, the square root of x plus 3 equals x plus 3. I'm going to put negative 2 in for my x, so negative 2 plus 3 equals negative 2 plus 3. Now hopefully this is going to work out. Well, negative 2 plus 3 is the square root of 1, and I'm not sure, but negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Well, the square root of 1 equals 1, and that also checks. So actually, both of these are solutions to the equation. So let's figure out the solution. I'm going to go into y equals. I'm going to put the left side of the equation in y1. So the square root of x plus 3, into parentheses, enter. And then the other side, x plus 3 into y2. I'm going to graph it. And now I see something is happening in here, so I want a better look at that. So I'm going to go to zoom, zoom in. Now my cursor right now is at 0, 0. Well, that's not where the action is happening, so I'm going to move it over close to where it's happening and hit enter. Now that's a pretty good picture, but let's zoom in one more time and see what happens. Hmm. Well, something's happening here, so let's try to figure out what that is. We do second calc, intersect. So where's my cursor here? There's my cursor for the first line. I'm going to bring it really, really close to that answer. Enter, and then enter, and my guess. And hmm, it's not getting that point. It's telling me what my other point is. So, hmm, let's go to our table. Let's see what's happening there. Well, if I keep looking here, I'm going to keep going. 
Ooh, what this means is that at x equals negative 4, I have an error. That means my square root equation is under the y axis, the x axis, sorry about that. But at negative 3, it's 0. So negative 3, 0 is a solution. Now let's see if we can get that to work. So I'm going to go here and go back to z standard. Um, let's try second calc value. And we're going to try where x is negative 3 and see what we get. Oh, and there it is. Hmm. So sometimes it's a little tricky to figure these out. But you'll do it. Thank you. And be sure to check out our free math worksheet website at www.piecrust.com. Also, we now have a great site where you can pick up some really cool t-shirts at www.cafepress.com forward slash pie crust.